Accompanying a vocalist on guitar is particularly challenging because we play an instrument that is so limited in range. So a lot of the art is about what you leave out and how you imply harmonies or melodic motion. Because sometimes the singer needs support, uh, you know, rhythmically or harmonically or melodically, and sometimes that support will be too much if you're dealing with an experienced singer. When the little blue bird who has never said a word starts to sing spring, spring. We want to give the illusion of dimension or fullness. Some of the ways to access that kind of motion is by separating the chord. You can play it like this. Or you could play the top note and then play the middle and the bottom. I have some voice leading going from the C7 to F in which the, the C chord has a B flat on the bottom, the seventh, moving to the third of the F chord. It's storytelling and, and it's also a conversation. Smooth road, clear day. Like in church, when when the preacher tells you something and, and, and the audience goes, Amen, or, yeah, tell me more, and what happens next, is more like a comment, you know, something either conclu concluding or leading you to the next subject or the next sentence. 